can just hear cats. Uh, the worst thing is I can hear cats currently scrabbling around, but I can't see where they are. That is... Uh, <laughs> That that's when you know things are dangerous. When you can hear the chaos, but you can't see the chaos. Um Cass. Cass, where are you? I don't know. Sometimes he'll come. I mean you my my, my cats, they know their names, they just choose to ignore you most of the time. So <laughs> there we go. Oh god. I spot a lot of ramps. Uh, <laughs> I I spot a lot of ramps that we might be um having to deal with <laughs> well this is a stevie map so if this one is is terrible it's it's stevie's fault uh, oh christ there's gonna be a lot of flying cascos here oh someone's gonna do aerial overtakes <laughs> oh that's a lot of death i might have given i think that was stevie a bop oh that's a lot of death there's a many deaths over that part uh <laughs> Many deaths over that part. Yeah, with the whole like slip strip. Oh, there's something on the road there. Oh, don't try and go four wide through that part. Uh, we're gonna have a little lift because I didn't really quite know where we were going. Bridge! Don't hit the bridge. We're fine. Go for the low ramps. Reese, I think might have hit the bridge and exploded. Uh, <laughs> oh, someone else is tumbling, tumbling their way down the uh, down the road. Right, so we then got to jump. Oh, we didn't jump far enough. No, we didn't jump far enough across that way. Whoops, that's gonna drop us down the order. Uh, <laughs> crap. I was hoping I could get. I hope I was jumping far enough so that I would clear the barrier. I did not quite. It was like a few millimeters the wrong side of far enough to uh, to make the make the barrier. Okay. Well, I mean, we've fallen to a uh, seventh place. Oh god, the pink car just got annihilated in the most spectacular but survivable of ways. Although we can't get back across to get the checkpoint. Uh, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> that is a shame. Sorry that the car I just gave a bop as I was trying to make sure I could get back into a line. I wonder if you could fit a car through that gap and not go for the ramp if you were going to be a, a cheaty bugger. Pink's about to get destroyed again. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was a that was a Ricardo level of braking right there. I did not know how on earth I was ever going to pull that one up in time. Amazingly, it worked. Not entirely sure how it worked, but uh, I will I will take that. Oh, there's a lot of flight across there. No one wants to go for the big ramps. Of course, the longer you spend in the air, the uh, less time you have wheels putting power down to the road. Of course, the slower you're going to be going. Um... I've got a big old slipstream pull. Somebody's on their side is going to get passed by everybody as we all jump on the brakes once more. Oh, can we sneak up? That's an amazing overtake. Uh, <laughs> overtakes, I should say. Oh, cars go flying across. Oh, we're going to be forced to take the big jump. Oh, oh Stevie's on his roof. We'll dodge that one. Uh, somehow we took the big jump and we've managed to actually make up ground. Um, oh, we've got a huge slipstream pull there. Pink got in trouble. We're in the lead. What's going on? Oh, bugger. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. Everything's calm. Everything is under control. We're jumping on the brakes now. And I braked too early that time. That was not a Ricardo, uh, <laughs> Ricardo level of braking right there. However, of course, we will now be having the full effects of catch-up. The full bad effects of catch up and so on um bringing everyone back towards us and it won't be long especially with this like this kind of race where there's lots of straights catch up will be more noticeable on some of the tight twisty technical uh courses you don't see really see catch up having so much of an effect uh oh god i was ready to get out there for slipstream as he was coming back in to make sure he got the checkpoint uh, uh oh gonna go three wide there if we're not careful um yeah on the tight twisty circuits you don't quite get the same effect from catch up because it's kind of like the reduction in power is less important there. Here, power is important. So it will it will bring the field back together again quite easily. Oh, those two got connected. Not what you want to uh, to be doing. That'll put me back into the lead. I mean, I won't keep it for very long. Uh, they were going to get slipstream their way uh, alongside. I'll have a little bit of a lift through there because of the little concrete barriers. And they found out. Oh, and tyre bundles as they found out very, very um, viciously, shall we say very viciously indeed pink will go soaring past uh red's in a uh, no, red can actually recover that one uh not the most kind of conventional of ways although he might actually still hold the lead uh, i don't know if he's gonna get the drive off of the corner that he quite wants but uh, there we go it's now a uh, three wide battle for the lead soon to be joined by at least another two cars oh there's a 
bumpy drains down there, kind of manhole covers that are causing the issues. Yeah, we are clear of red. Reese has got a lot of speed on the outside. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, recover, recover, better than Pink did. Uh, <laughs> that's what we've done from all of that. That was always going to end in disaster. Uh, <laughs> cars carrying a lot of speed, uh, sort of hitting the back of you when you're in the air. Not, not pleasant experience. Oh, that was very close. The red car just making it through. Can we have a big dive? No, we cannot. Got to be careful. You don't end up trying to cut back too much and uh, missing the checkpoint. Would be easy to uh, to do. I think we've got one more lap to go. Oh, Christ! <laughs> that is an amazing aerial overtake right there. <laughs> that might be the best, cleanest of aerial overtakes I've ever done. We launched over Reese, land perfectly in front of him, but behind the pink car. Reese has gone for a big roll. Pink's going to smack. Oh, Pink got away from the Armco barrier there. Uh, Reese had a wheel in between the uh, in between the ramps. And that caused a trouble for his uh, for his car. We've got oh, is this the final lap? No, there's one more. Okay, we've got a little. Well, so we've got a little bit of time. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, got some more time to kind of hold on to the front running, but we don't quite have to be manically panicking as to what position we are in for that final final run. Uh, is that the? I don't actually know which one's the start finish line, to be perfectly honest with. I think it's down the other side. Uh, <laughs> I think that's where the uh, oh, where the start line was. Oh, we're gonna go. Well, I was gonna go a little bit wide, and then realised there was a car on my outside, so I couldn't go too wide because I was expecting somebody to dive up the inside. Right, we are back to a big old battle for the lead. Yeah, I think this one ahead is the start finish line. Oh. <laughs> That aerial overtake not quite as clean as we've seen in the past. That's never going to work. That was never going to work, was it? <laughs> That's all of us gone. I, <laughs> I think I should have lifted out of that one. Um, although I was kind of stuck on the outside. And uh, if I'd lifted, I think I just got run over from cars behind. And my cats have just come bounding into my office and knocked into the microphone stand. So I... Uh, I apologise if you, I don't think you would have heard the clonking from it, but I didn't knock it over and knocked into the bottom uh, of it. Oh, that that could have gone a lot worse. We haven't actually fallen out of the hunt really for the podium here. Uh, there might still be an opportunity. Hell, we might even get a big enough slipstream pull to uh, chase down the leader on the final finishing straight if we don't land on pink. <laughs> That was an amazing little uh, wheelie we got on the uh, on the pink car. Here comes the slipstream through the middle of everyone. It's a shame that's not the finish line. That would have been nice. I think we've gone too soon here. Oh, there's been a big old crash. Oh, hello, Stevie. Uh, <laughs> there's been a big old crash between a few of those, and they probably won't have time to recover. Will track position be the way to go, or will we have... Uh, Got to the lead too early on. I'm not sure. Stevie's going to aerial overtake us. But now we've got a slipstream all the way to the finish line. Come on. Come on, orange car. He's going to do it. Oh, I think we got second. Just. Uh, <laughs> that was an amazing aerial overtake to... Uh... Ah, oh, to get the win. I'm just... He's just coming up on stream as I've, uh, as I've done that. Bloody hell. Well done. <laughs> I think we just held on to second. We did by tiny fractions tiny tiny fractions in all of that oh that was a good race <laughs> that was an amazingly amazingly entertaining entertaining race okay we had a second place there was an amazing run to the line in which we couldn't quite take a victory last time out however we're hoping to do one better we're hoping to do one better here in the uh, the Vigoro. Uh, oh, Christ, Amaris just attacked the floor. What have you got? Oh, bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> Amara just battered the floor, run around in a circle, and has just shot out the office. So there are full cat zoomies going on as we're about to go do full lunatic racing. Uh, <laughs> cat zoomies are quite a distraction when trying to do racing, especially racing like this that's really busy. Oh, Christ, we've got a huge slipstream pull here. Where are we going to go to make the most of this? Sorry! Cars behind got more of a slipstream pull than me, even. Oh, dear. It's all gone very badly wrong this time. Uh, <laughs> it's just me and Stevie spinning around on our roofs trying to write it. Uh, that wasn't very clever. No. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very clever in any way, shape or form. We should have really lifted out of the throttle there. 
Although, admittedly, the initial punt by me was then made worse by all of the cars behind. So if I'd lifted out, I think I would have got punted by somebody. Too many cars in too little space is basically what happened there. Let's try and go for some, uh, for some recovery. Let's go for a recovery drive from this. And there is plenty of opportunity, again, as I said, with, with catch-up being very, very effective here. Slipstream, of course, massively effective down these long straights and six laps and whatnot of racing. We can recover. There's a reason why I didn't go full throttle over that jump there, because I saw what was happening. Oh, laggy un... Well, I say laggy bad luck for me. Uh, <laughs> there's, been a there's been a bumpy spin train going on on the inside of that corner. Amazing work, guys. Just... Just just amazing work. Uh, oh, Christ, that yellow car is having fun times with the uh, internet connection. You see, Green, you don't really want to be there. That is not a place... Okay, good choice. Well done. Uh, <laughs> you might as well duck back into line, especially when you stand a chance of getting some slipstream to try and pull you back up towards the... Uh, Towards the pack. I'm really tempted to try see if I can fit a car not going through a jump there, but I feel like it's just going to end in disaster. Uh, Reese is in the wall with another bloop. Oh, I've had cats just run past me into the office again at warp speed. Uh, <laughs> they've run into the office. They've run out of the office. You might have heard the squeak from Cass as Amara turned around and chased him back out again. Um... Bloody hell. They're, they are on one tonight. There's some cars flying through the air there with very little in the way of control. We're going to try and make it too wide. Stevie's gone for the aerial. I think it's... I think it's either way, a purple car's gone for the aerial overtake. The uh, luminous green car has had a big roll. We've managed to dodge it all through there. We're up to sixth place somehow in all of this. Uh, you know what? You guys go. I'm happy to just kind of sit back into line here. You can go and uh, fly through the air, do your things, and we will maybe have a look at the hairpin. Not quite. Well, I mean, we might get a good exit. If we actually get a slipstream off one of you guys, that would be helpful. If we could get Stevie out of the tow and we could take the tow away, I'd be okay with uh, with that one. There's been a big crash. Oh, bugger, 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 bugger. We're... No, I'm going to have a lift. Oh, <laughs> I had a lift, but it wasn't enough. No, <laughs> Reese got all of this. Reese snucked all the way past and is up into third as we kind of all tangled into one another. That looks like a ramp car, not a Vigoro anymore back there. That's a scary sight. Oh, bugger, there's a lot of cars with a lot of speed. I think I got lag punted. I got... <laughs> I got lag punted, but then the, the, the car that lagged underneath me just bopped me up perfectly, perfectly calmly into the air, and we were okay. That will never happen again that well. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's the most impressive aerial overtake or the one we did in the race before. Either way, this this race circuit generates some of the most amazing aerial overtakes we have ever seen. Oh, bye bye, bye bye neon car, bye bye neon car indeed. Uh, <laughs> that has gone to space. That has absolutely gone to space. We are going to get a huge slipstream. We might actually take the lead here for the first time. This Not bad, considering the incredible mess that we were in at the start of everything. We're going to go wide. Somebody's going to go up the inside. Oh, there's a bit of lag. Oh, well, I say there's a bit of lag. There was a bit of a turn and a bit of a correction, and everything is fine. Everything is fine from all of that. Uh, a lot of cars in a very, very small bit of tarmac here. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't quite want that to happen. <laughs> I could see it was going to land on me, so I got on the brakes. The problem is, as I got on the brakes, he then landed on me, but just as, well, almost as badly as if I hadn't got on the brakes, and he then fell off anyway, so I try to be helpful. Oh, bugger, there's a little bit of bumping. Just a minor bit of bumping. I've got no one to slipstream off of. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, we're fine. We're okay. We're okay. And into the hairpin we go. Big old battle for the lead again. I think some five cars, six cars involved. Reese will currently lead. Cards on the outside got a uh, much better run. I was going for a bit of a bump draft. Probably not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> probably not a good idea to go for that. We're the one with the big run here. Can I get across in front? Just, but only just. Uh-oh. Oh, oh we got it down. Got it down. Got it landed. Run away from the train of cars. Hello, Reese. You're going to go for a bump draft on me here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea, it just doesn't apparently work in GTA 5, as we've just seen there, as everybody soared past us on the outside. No, no. Oh, yes, it's fine. Reese, you've saved me. <laughs> this race is basically full of just about all of the things that will only ever happen once, and I won't manage to ever do that sort of control manoeuvre again. Reese bopping me up into the top of the, um, oh, that blue car's going to go for a rock. <laughs> There are going to be so many good clips from this. Like, the amount of amazing fail rates gifts you could make is from, from all of this is incredible. Uh, 
That was a rolling aerial attack. We've never had one of those before. Oh, how the hell did we not all spin then? I don't even know how the physics of that works. I'll go for a huge dive bomb. We've actually have got it stopped on the green car. Uh, how, how does all of that work? I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I have no idea, but I will, I will take it. Either way, we're fighting for the lead still. It's a three-car battle for the lead now. It'll probably be more by the end of the race. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we saved... Well, I say we saved it. We've lost some time. Uh, oh, dear God. <laughs> that is not a sight you want to look back and see. That many cars out of control across the uh, across the jumps is not the sight that, uh, that you want to see. Oh, we will soar through the air. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to get double teamed up towards the final hairpin. We will go for a cutback on the exit. I mean, we'll get the, we'll get the run, but they're just going to... Well, Reese will slipstream us. Uh, slipstream past us, I suspect, down the start finish right. But that's okay, because we want to work together to try and catch the leaders. The leaders who have had a spin. Where are they going to appear? Oh, we're all through. Uh-oh. You know what? I saw what happened last time we tried to go three wide through there. I am wise to that one. It's not the final lap. It's not worth trying to do it. Now it is the final lap. Now this is the final lap of the race. I wouldn't back out uh, of that slipstream battle this time around. Big launch for the red car. Orange car is through as we head down towards the hairpin. Oh, Christ. I I think I might have pinged you along there with some lag. Because that is not how a car ends up going over that way uh, without some lag. And I apologise. Not much I can do if the uh, game decides to, uh, to do that one. I, mean, I was a little bit late on the brakes. However... You know, <laughs> I wasn't that late. I wasn't. I wasn't doing that one. Uh, whoa! Big speed from the blue car. They might. Okay, the red did a very, very good job of uh, recovering all of that. Can we? Mm, don't really want to get in the slipstream there, though. That's not really a particularly helpful space to do it. We're heading into the bridge. Red is going to try and get back past us. We're in exactly the same kind of situation that we were last time around, heading into the hairpin. Or maybe this time. Maybe this time a little bit better off for me in terms of getting a uh, slipstream boost on the cars ahead. Uh, although I think we're going to get it at the wrong point. Blue's come across. I'm really sorry, but you came across in front of me. There was very little that I could do in all of that. I've got a run. Green's got a very big run. Not again. Oh, no. No, I think Green got it. Red got second. I'm going to end up in fifth because we just got tagged. Oh, I say we just got tagged. I try. I went for a gap that was there, but there was. I was trying to get back across, and we well, we turned. We turned the green car a little bit, and I was trying to get avoid from crashing into everything. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to end up with exactly the same scenario as we had last time. Not quite. Good race though. <laughs> good, good race indeed. Uh, yeah, you kind of want to be third coming down that. Um, kind of want to be third coming down that sort of finish run because third you've got the, the double slipstream second you've got a single slipstream which is great and everything but when you're in third you can really get the toe all the way down but uh... ah well <laughs> in a race that fun ending up fifth on the final straight I, I don't i don't really don't really care too much in uh in all of that one